Good morning, Savannah. All right. I'm glad you're listening. This is WRUULP, Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Soundings, community radio with Global Soul. So glad to have you. And I want to let you know that Joanne Morton is going to be our guest today. She is the force, uh, well, the uh, coordinator of the Earth Day Festival that is coming up this Saturday that we're all looking for. I want to just mention a few things before we, uh, we get to Joanne. And uh, for one thing, I want to issue the general disclaimer. The viewpoints expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of WRUU, its license holder, or its staff. Okay, so I'm liable to say anything, and uh, I'm, I'm not worried about Joanne, but it's me. It's me they're worried about, <laughs> so don't, do want to get that out there, and uh, let's see. What else? I want to uh, remind everybody that there is a Facebook page for Savannah Lexicon. Check it out if you're so inclined. Make some comments. Give me a like if you want to. If you even want to criticize, that's okay. Just... Uh, Just feel free to make some comment on the Facebook page, and uh, that would be good. Uh, All right, and uh, again, WRUULP, Savannah, Georgia, 107.5, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Soundings, community radio with Global Soul. Okay, that's that's, it. I'm going to stop running my mouth now, Joanne. you uh how are you today i am really good good it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice day it's gonna be it's gonna be as a matter of fact the weather (laughs) is gonna be about today what it's gonna be about on saturday it's gonna be i think you know if if the forecast if you can believe the forecast then we're looking at about 80 degrees which is really sweet that's a nice sweet spot you know warm without being terribly hot and no rain in the forecast at this moment, at least. So I think that this Saturday's event is going to be blessed in that sense. Thank goodness for climate change. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but but yes. Well, I'm going to say this is my third Earth Day festival that yeah. I've been involved with. Yeah. The first one was three years ago, and when I was looking for um, photos to send out to the newspapers or put on Facebook. I went back to all the other Earth Day festivals and there were all these gray days and yep, these yep. white tents with nobody around. And mm-hmm. um, and that has been like the biggest challenge when you do outdoor events. Sure, sure, absolutely. And I even remember, before, you know, I went to one of those and the grass is all right. But last year was an amazing day. We had this gray day when we set up the day before. Right. And I was preparing myself for... The, the next day and then it turned into one of these days ah. so we're um and that was like one of the best you know i think that was the most exciting part about last year's festival everybody walked around with just this like it's not raining we could enjoy earth day <laughs> festival in foresight park an added plus when you're sort of worried that it might you won't have an added plus this time because there's going to be no worry about the weather i don't think exactly well that's the added plus no worry that that is that is the plus then because usually you're like checking the weather every day and you by the hour well you know at 10 o'clock it's only 10 percent at two o'clock it's 30 percent yeah isn't that weird how you can do that now that they get it down so accurate, like you have the yeah, not only it, 10 day forecast, but the it's hourly all, not forecast. Not that it's always right, but it is remarkable how right it is. It's pretty, I mean, it's, it's, it's really astonishing. What is right, but it is definitely, you know, pretty accurate weather. It is, it is. The, the technology is astonishing I know. these days in, in every which way. All right, so uh, just. Uh, just tell us a little bit. This is, of course, and I, I'm sure most people listening are aware of this already and know about it, but hey, we want to make sure you know about it and uh, know about this particular year's uh, festival in general. It is, of course, free to the public. Free to the public. Generous support from the City of Savannah's Sustainability Department. And I had uh, Nick. Definitely. Definitely on. Nice. Not too long ago, a few weeks ago. He's a so wonderful person to work with. Yeah. Him and Hash- Ashley Hemmel. 
are the two people that really... And I had Ashley's husband on. Nick Hemholt. The week before I had Nick on. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, yeah, So you're yeah. probably like, Ashley, is it, which Nick am I talking to? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. I, had to, I, had to I keep, love I them all. I had to keep that straight. Yeah, I'm not yeah. making fun of you. I'm not mocking you all. No, no, no. Um, yeah, so, you know, I don't know. Tell us about... <laughs> and WRUU, again, is going to be in presence there at the yes. festival. So we're delighted about that. I wish it would be fun to do live on site, but soon you you, you got yeah. it all, you got this going. Yeah, you can do anything now. So that's yeah. what's so cool about you guys can make that happen because you made this happen. Where exactly? And we're yeah. working towards doing that sort of thing. Well, you know, the goal to have it done by is the 2020 50th anniversary of Earth Day. That'll be in. That's true. That would be a biggie. Yeah, that we're we're planning biggie. for that one already. Okay, let me ask you this now, because I have to admit, I, ha- I wonder about this myself. And is there some particular reason it's not actually on Earth Day? Because <laughs> the park wasn't available. I see. Okay. So I figured it was something very simple like yeah, that. Yeah, I actually asked last June, and it wasn't available last wow. June. Wow. Yeah, because we saw that. We're like, oh, we better reserve it. And so I, over wow. a year, you know... Maybe someone wants to get married in the park on that Earth is, Day. Yes, but you know, on I don't know if on Earth Day twenty, Earth Day, there's a March for Science. Yes, exactly. And, and she's she's going to be she's going to be on here right wonderful. before that. Good. Also, and the other thing I'd like to say about that because everybody asked me, and I'm being very patient. You know, like duh, yeah. don't you think I would have done it if I could? Yeah. But not to be a, But um, the way I look at it is now. We get to celebrate Earth Day two times that month. Well, yeah. So I mean, all I, those groups get to have their own Earth Day activity or do the March for Science. And this is my little tagline, Earth Day shouldn't just be one day a year. Well, that's for sure. So we get Earth to celebrate day. Earth Day two times. And that's good. That's a good thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no doubt about it. It has been a marketing challenge to remind everybody it's on the 15th. Yeah, and but, I've I've been I've been shouting that out here on my show, so people who've been listening yeah. here are aware of that. And the buzz and, on the street, uh, I think we get, I think most people know now too. And I'm gonna have uh, I am going to have Paulita Bennett Martin on the show here on the 18th. Fabulous. So that'll be right before. Yeah, you're gonna have you Earth met her Day. before? I've not. She's very sweet, too. Yeah. And they just opened an office At here. 2424 Drayton Street. Yes. Unit so B. I used to be in that space. I oh, really? That. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's a great space. Yeah? Oh, definitely. I, 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 don't, I don't really know it. But, I mean, well, I know generally where you're talking about. Well, but. right. It's those, that building right past the um, railroad tracks on Drayton. And I lived there. And it's uh, like an 1,800-square-foot unit, the business and the residential. Okay. And... Our electric bill in that summertime was two hundred dollars a month for two units because oh. it was so you know it was just built well built. Wow! Environmentally, okay. I thought all... you were going in the other direction. With nope. That. Okay. And that's why you know everyone's like their electric bills were so high in the summer, and I that was the first place I lived in the summer, and I was like, mine's great. And I split <laughs> it with three people too, so. Oh. Very nice. Yeah, so that's why it's so important to build things that are more environmentally sound. Get those. No doubt about it. You know, that's why we have Earth Day. Yeah. To have some education to educate people. Just talk a little bit about this this Earth Day. What's coming up? Of course, we got you know you got a, a lot of exhibitors. You've got workshops. You get just just tell us a little bit. Okay, what and what to I expect. brought today. So I brought. Um, a list of all the vendors, too. Oh, wow. Okay. Thinking, it, well, all of, well, I don't know if we get... Uh, there's more than 100, aren't there? There's something well, like that's like, you know, plus, it's over 80, though. We did wow, get over, okay, 80. over 80. We have over 100 in the past. But um, here, I'll just give you this while I'm talking. So you well, can just kind of okay. prove... Just if you, there's, so Earth Day Festival is in Forsyth Park, and it starts at 11 a.m., and it ends at 4. We okay. have, like you were saying, over 80 exhibitor and vendors, Exhibitors are the nonprofits and local groups that are coming out to share their story. And also, every we ask everybody who comes to the festival mm. to have some sort of environmental or sustainable twist or some sort of lesson or message to share. And you're talking about exhibitors. Or and whatever. vendors, right. right. Yeah. Vendors, so even if yeah. you're a business, you have mm. to have some sort of... you. 
you know, environmental or sustainable well, message absolutely. or product. That's what the whole day is about. <laughs> exactly. And that's what's kind of cool about the Savannah Earth Day Festival. It is still very educational geared where a mm-hmm. lot of other festivals have, you know, whatever. We have, we're not talking about them. Let's talk about us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, yes. And so this one has all these. And then you can talk about the. But then what's also great about this event is they we offer free workshops. Yeah, I saw that. That's cool. And you've got some really interesting things. Right. We have five um, workshop tents. Mm-hmm. And so there's four workshops in each tent. I also brought the list of workshops. Okay. Well, now you... you I'm going to keep this so I can... Yeah, you, you and, tell and, us, um, uh, and maybe I'll just... Um, yeah, re- read I'll, off. I'll read some of them. So we yeah, have... Yeah, yeah. In tent one, we have the Ogeechee River Keepers and the Savannah River Keepers coming together. Excellent. And I just had uh, the Ogeechee River Keeper... On here, I've been I've been doing shows trying to work up to Earth Day. I you love know? you. So, Thank yeah, you for yeah, that. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Um, Emily, right? Yes, and I unfortunately don't yes. know all of their well, names. Well, Emily, so. that's, that's good. Um, my my vision, like we were talking about earlier, so the 2020 is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day right. in the country, and then Savannah mm-hmm. will be the 20th. So ah, well, wouldn't it be double, really fun to have thing. something every single day that week to sort of gear up for it, it and would. having shows like yours and yeah. other? Yes, I yeah. love this. Yeah. So they're doing um, four workshops. They all start at 11:30. This is the River Keepers. They're doing talking about Savannah Harbor. Yep. Um, watersheds and basic hydrology. Okay. Yeah. And but if you this, go that's to important stuff. EarthDaySavannah.org. Yeah. That lists all the workshops and the descriptions okay. for each one. EarthDaySavannah.org. Yes. Okay. Fisheries is mm-hmm. another one. And then mm-hmm. we're going to talk about the wetlands, marshes, and spaces in between both rivers. Okay. Okay. So that was kind of I lo- I'm really excited about that because this is the first time we've had a exhibitor or you know take over the entire tent. And I'd like to also say that if anybody is interested in ever presenting a workshop at Earth Day Festival or the Food Day Festival in late October, which we also produce, mm-hmm. we're open like community radio. This is a community festival. Yeah. Yeah, bring absolutely. your oh, bring yeah. your skills and talents along. Absolutely, which good, is good. brings me to the next tent, which is called the homesteading tent. Okay, we have Jane Quattlebaum is just some woman I ran because I was trying to find a bee. And she's doing a workshop on bees. Okay, so yep, I was like calling yep. all the beekeepers and like, well, I can't do it, but call her. Well, you call her, and then ah. finally I get to Jane, and she's okay. the local beekeeper. She's you know she's boat beekeeper. All right. Um, all right have you talked to Andy Schwartz yet from Eat Grow Repeat? I have it. He's I a, know about him and yeah, yeah. composting. Mm-hmm. So he's always at the Earth Day Festival doing a workshop and Good. the Food Day Festival. Good. A new I met this woman. There's a event on Tuesday, the second Tuesday of the month, called Green Drinks. I've seen reference to that. And yeah, one of those meetup things. Yeah, yeah so I people think, interested yeah. to meet other green environmentally. Mm-hmm. A lot mm-hmm. of people come to this, and I met two of the workshop presenters at Green Drinks. Ah, so okay. Green Freedom Farms mm. is a new um, a farm out in Pooler, I believe, and they oh. do mushrooms. Ah. So they're going to talk about mushrooms. And then okay. this woman, um, Kelly Brinkman, is going to bring her two electric Nissan Leafs. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> and That's she's interesting. Just, yeah. And the, actually, the other day, she gave me a ride home from Green Drinks. And her electric car, and we yeah, drove down yeah. Truman Parkway, and it was like, oh, my gosh. She's not going to give rides. Yeah. No, no rides. No rides. Don't ask. No. But <laughs> I will tell you what it felt like. It was really very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Good. So then um, Oatland Island, Annie Quinting, another. Okay. I don't know if she does interviews, but she's a super wonderful woman. And she does workshops a lot at our events. Mm-hmm. This year she's doing Dispelling the Fear of Snakes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. That, that that's true. <laughs> yeah. You should not be afraid of all snakes. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Right. So <laughs> yes, I think true. that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm, I think it will be too. Yeah. So then we've got um, a conservation tent where we have the electric cars. We have Chatham County Cooperative Extension doing clean greening tips, and Mike Croft from Coastal Solar going to talk about solar energy. Mm-hmm. And the water utility management is talking about water wise tips for your life. And the environment. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you mentioned, uh, what is it? Eat. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Eat, no. 
it would be you would start off with something else. No, eat. It does start off. You with eat eat. it. Yeah. Okay. Then eat. You grow it. Grow. Repeat. And repeat. Right. Okay. I I just found out about them. Oddly enough, I'm doing a piece for this for Savannah Magazine on Chabella. Nice. Restaurant. Michael. Michael. Yes. Michael. And uh, Candace. And um, they mentioned them. Well, and they they met, and I don't know if people know it, but I mean Chabella is really really uh, very environmentally sensitive and aware, and they do everything they can in terms of first off not using any more energy and 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 uh, whatnot uh, than they have to, and in terms of like they have their own little garden in the back, and uh, everything is that they do is organic, and they use they utilize. Uh, all their 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 vegetable scraps. Yeah, their vegetable scraps. Yeah, for compost. And, and for compost uh-huh. and all sorts of other things too. Really uh, dedicated to the environment. So that's a good. Exactly. That's a, that's a that's a a nice uh, I guess, uh, you know, Earth Day week fest uh, restaurant. Everyone should go have dinner at Chabella. <laughs> okay. This week in honor of Earth Day. All yes. Right. So yeah, that's, they're they're that's wonderful. Good. Yeah. And I think they were actually really were instrumental in helping. Eat, grow, repeat, start because uh, that's, he, well, yeah, I he got goes that to all these different restaurants. Yeah, because restaurants. it's out. I think it's out. Is that the one that's out at the farm where Michael had been? I'm not sure if I'm he, getting that right. I don't right. know where his compost okay. piles are. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. don't know where Andy. Well, he might have a couple different sure spaces that, actually yeah. because there's so much. He gets about, I would say, over 10, 15, I don't know how many restaurants he has right now, but he goes and collects compost from lots of local right. restaurants. Right, And Excellent. it could grow if more restaurants would come and then sure. he could create jobs. Yeah, There's, Excellent. It, We Excellent. need to just really encourage everybody to compost. Mm-hmm. It changes your trash. Mm. And you'd have mm. very little stinky trash when you mm. do not put your vegetable scraps and fruit scraps. It's true, because, I mean, that's what stinks uh-huh. for the most part. Uh-huh. I mean, that's, yep. you know. And a lot of times people, this is what I do. Um, well, I don't have space. I don't want to compost. You know, I, don't, I don't have a garden. Why don't? So what I do, I don't have a garden, but I put my compost, my vegetable scraps in my plastic bag in a freezer. And then ah. when it fills up, okay. I take it to a local community garden. The one I go to is on 39th Street. I see. Pour it in the compost, and then done. There you go. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's a good way it's to do it. It's super easy. And when I moved into my um, house with a roommate friend, I this is what I do, and she's doing it too now. So it's very – it changes your trash. Good, good, good. So, All right. Um, do you want to hear about tent four? Yeah, yeah. So this is – okay, so we have yeah, two yeah. more tents. Oh, okay. Um, five – we have 20 workshops. So the next one is about gardening. Okay. What a lead way. Composting to gardening. There you go. Victory Gardens is doing okay. – a very exciting workshop that okay. I'm so happy about. Edible plant, edible perennial plants for the home landscape. Ah, okay. So, so yeah, landscaping Grow plants some that you stuff can eat. You can eat. Grow of course. food, not how lawns. obvious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was really excited about that one. When you really think about it. Yeah. Um, have you had anybody on from Mixed Greens yet? No. Nope. So they're doing um, companion planting. The Georgia's Low Country Chapter of Herbalist Guild. Okay. Is doing and they've been doing workshops at all our events these you know, these years. The Elderberry, grandmother mm. of the garden. Yeah. Have you yeah. heard about Elderberry? Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of it. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's Well go ahead. I wish I, I could go to these workshops because I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that much about it. I, I don't just, either. Um, but, and then the Chatham County Cooperative Extension, again, another great group in Chatham town. County Cooperative Extension. Okay, they right, They give right, classes right. Sure, all the time. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. And they're doing preserving food from your garden. Okay. So, all right. And then we have our last tent, which is Sustainable Connections. Okay. We good. have the effects of fast fashion on Earth. Fast fashion? With Erica Strutt, Erica, Erica Strutt, Erica from House of Strutt. Okay. So fast fashion are clothes like the Gap and H and M that are just mm. churning out right. clothes all the time. Right. What are the effects of the? Earth? I mean, that's mm. look it up. It's mm. pretty sad mm. on many levels. I don't want to give it all away. Go to the <laughs> workshop at eleven thirty. <laughs> okay. On Saturday, April fifteenth. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and then we have um, Paulita that you're going to talk to oh, next week. Okay. Good. She, I asked her if she'd like to. Um, 
she works for 100 miles, which right, is right. So there are they do a lot of lobbying. Mm-hmm. So I was I'm personally curious to know what other groups in town are doing lobbying for us on our behalf, on mm. my, as well as of what kind of policies have been actually enacted because of this lobbying. So we have well, a yeah. panel discussion <sighs> yeah, lobbying good. for our planet. Well, that's good. That's good. And I know that uh, Emily with Ogeechee Riverkeepers, I'm not sure that they lobby. I'm, I'm not sure. that Maybe they do. I don't know I'm for sure. But they certainly are attuned to the, legis- the recently closed legislative <laughs> right. session. And I know that they're out there communicating about it and, and all of that, too. So yeah. good. Good. So then we have um, Meet Savannah's Urban Gardeners. Okay. So anybody. And then the last one, we brought in the des- the SCAD Design for Sustainability okay. Department. Okay, good. And they're going to do this this there's this thing called Share Your SAGA Saga, Savannah, Georgia. Share okay. your saga. Okay. And I gotcha. um, just ask people questions about what your saga, you know, just go find out, be surprised. Excellent. <laughs> so so five tenths worth of of uh of workshops yes. going on, very interesting things, uh, addressing a, a good variety of yeah. of issues. They start at eleven thirty, and yep. then the the last one's at two thirty. So every hour, it'll it'll change out. Okay. Yeah. Then we also had um, I had a yoga teacher express interest in teaching a yoga class. And I was like, sure, why not? So she's she came in, and then Revolution Yoga is one of our uh, our. Our vendors and she's come every year since she's come into Savannah. Mm. So I asked her if she wanted to teach a yoga class. And then there's also the Savannah Children's Museum is coming to the Earth Day Festival. Good. And they have a woman teaching Yogi Pals, a kid yoga class. Okay. And, and yeah, we should we should say. I mean, and, uh, you know, people may or may not know, but we should say. I mean, this is a, obviously a very kid friendly. Very kid friendly. If and you you've have got children, activities going you've on. You got the playground. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the park. Yeah. And the festival. And beer. <laughs> okay, not for the children. <laughs> well, not for the children, but for <laughs> not, the parents. Not for the children, you but know, the parents can have, have a beer. one beer. Yes, okay. Yes. Good, good, good. And I was uh, just looking over the list of um, exhibitors, I guess. And vendors, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or in vendors. Uh, over, or you know, like about 80 of them, so I'm certainly not going to try and read every one of them, but I mean, there are a lot of great ones here. 100 Miles, who you mentioned, is going to also be uh, there in the uh, in the workshops. Uh, the Center for Biological Diversity. The SCAD Design for Sustainability Club. Um uh, Juice Plus and Tower Garden, which I have to confess I don't know about, but is that sort of a? They they come to our events. Too. They okay. they sell this thing that is like a vertical garden. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Uh, I'm making my hand gestures, but it's radio. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she you, well, you missed it, guys. Listen out there, but she she did a nice graceful movement with her hand up into the air as the uh, as the tower garden would be. And then uh, Green Party of Chatham County, Georgia. That uh, sounds quite right. Uh, Clark Pest Remedy, which I am imagining to be a sort of a uh, environmentally friendly. I asked them when friendly... they called up, I was, I was like, do you have, what kind of poisons do right, you use? Right, right. So, and they so, want to give an alternative to poisons. There you go. And that's a good thing because, you know, that other stuff is really nasty. Uh-huh. Uh, Enchanted Forest, Soaps and Candles, International Student Climate Art Project, Tybee Island Marine Science Center. Um, you know, Can I mention the uh, Tybee sure. Island cleanup is coming? Right, that's true. Yeah. And they, I don't know if people know this, you should find them on the internet. They count every single thing that they gather. Wow. And then well, I've just found good, recently, uh, so they count all those cigarette butts. Oh, God. But they have a way to do it. But then they also not just landfill them. They have found people to take them and to reuse them, including the cigarette butts. An artist, apparently, is making oh. something out of those. Interesting. Yes. Okay. So it's everything can be reused, and that's what yep. I just want to keep putting out, that, that there's these solutions that we just need to do them. And I'll just put out there... <laughs> And I'll just put out, that's good that that use is being put since since it's out there. Yeah. But people, stop smoking. 
it's really bad for you. You understand? Don't you understand that? It's really nasty. Stop. Okay. I'll uh, get off my soapbox. I just, you know, had to throw that out there. But anyway, a lot of good, a lot of good exhibitors and vendors. Um, uh, Keep Chatham beautiful. Uh, City of Savannah and Thrive, which is, I think, is that a youth-oriented thing? I'm trying to remember what Thrive I, is. I, I, what I'm understanding is it's a community. It's the in. It's this inside City Savannah's um, employee group that is oh. interested in working. And you know, environmental sustainable. That's oh. don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's a, pr- I would. I'm trusting you more than me because I'm. I'm not. I'm it's not also sure a catering all, company. But that's, that sounds good. Yeah, Thrive yeah. Catering. Yeah. Okay. Veterans for Peace. Uh, Mountain Film on Tour, Savannah. So anyway, lots and lots of. There's very another good. group coming called Y Face Youth for a cleaner environment Uh janice banks has been doing this since 2000 and she brought in a friend of hers who's going to be designing a chandelier made made out of plastic bottle bottoms ah ah interesting yeah i'm trying to imagine that and now there's going to be music too right yes we have music At at the band show so I hope all the kids show up. So if any Charles Ellis Montessori students out there, parents are listening, and your children are going to be singing at the Earth Day Festival on Saturday, please bring your kids at 11 o'clock because we want them to open the festival at 1130. Mm-hmm. And then at 1 o'clock, a group called, no, 12 o'clock, the Indigos are going to be performing. Not the Indigo Girls, no. but the Indigos. The Indigos, okay. young group of really talented young people in Savannah. Then at 1 o'clock, Missionary Blues mm. will be performing. Mm. And then 2 o'clock, sounds good. our headliner, and repeat, this is the third time he's performing at Earth Day Festival, Zulu Prophet, ah. which would be a fun interview guest with you as well. Ah, Zulu Prophet. I Zulu. don't know. This this might be his. Uh, <laughs> okay. This might be be Dave's. Uh, okay. A good good guest. Yeah. There. So he would have he would he could talk for about three hours. Have your three hour show with Zulu. And I'm really grateful for Zulu and all that he does for the community. So big shout out to Zulu Prophet and his band. And then at the close of the show is Weights and Co. Oh yeah, and I love yeah. I love him and well and them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's at three really o'clock. Good. So every hour, really you know. Okay. Um, and then we also have the Stardust Pixies. They're going to be setting up their aerial. So they've been coming out and doing dance and hula with mm. Zulu, the Zulu Prophet. And they've okay. just recently got a big aerial where they can do silks and spins. It should be pretty fun. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm liking it. Okay. I'll tell you, Joanne, we need to take a short break and we will both uh, catch our breath. And uh, and then we will come back. Uh, so hang on there, listeners. We're not going to be going long and uh, at all. So just just hang with us. We'll be back shortly.
This portion of WRUULP Savannah Soundings programming is made possible by a grant from Sentient Bean, offering fair trade coffee, vegan and vegetarian food, and breakfast all day. Located at 13 East Park Avenue, across the street from the tennis courts at Forsyth Park. Our menu and special events listings can be found at sentientbean.com. And sentient being be, being another uh, another kind of food and beverage operation that is quite environmentally conscious. Want to let you know this is WRUULP Savannah Georgia one hundred seven point five FM WRUU dot org. We are Savannah Soundings Community Radio with Global Soul, and we are here today. As we continue into our second half, and by the way, thank you for listening. I certainly do appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying the show and getting some good information here with Joanne Morton, who is the uh, coordinator, shall we say, of the upcoming uh, Savannah Earth Day Festival, which is this Saturday, this Saturday, and it's going to be a beautiful day, according to the weather forecast. There's going to be all sorts of stuff going on. There's going to be music. There's going to be, there's going to be uh, uh, workshops. Uh, there's going to be over 80 exhibitors or vendors uh, out there. So, right, it's going to be great. Right, Joanne? Yes, it is. And I should also, I am one of the coordinators to okay. do something like this. Yeah, oh, I'm you sure. You definitely, actually. I'm not, I'm, um, so I just, you know, I love talking about Renee Turan. Um, he is an amazing person to work with, and he does so much. And it's great to have such a great working partner with someone. He, him and his wife, Whitney Johnson, started the Food Day Festival six mm. years ago. And that's mm. how we got into the Earth Day Festival okay. because of that festival. And it's been, it's such a pleasure working with both of them. And Good. just like working with people who are smart and do everything. And then I'd also like to do a shout out to Kia Jackson, my intern. Okay. She's been great. Every year I try to get somebody to come in. And even if you just come in for like three hours to help me, that yeah. is huge. Yeah. Interning and helping, volunteering is wonderful to do. Um, and then another person that really is helpful <clears throat> is Molly Lieberman. If you haven't talked to Molly, I have talked with up. Molly. Loop so it up. Yep. she's a big, big help. And their her her kids, her their students are making the backdrops for the Earth Day okay. Festival stage. Okay, excellent. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for for throwing that additional uh, information out there and for others, because I know there's no way in the world one person could pull this thing off. I could. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, uh, well, I like the I'm confidence. An Aries. I like the confidence. <laughs> um, so, all right. So, let's just touch on you for just a minute. I mean, just give us a little thumbnail on your background <laughs> and sort of how you got involved in in this particular activity. Well, I've always been someone who likes to create events and experiences for okay. people. All right. And I had done a lot of this. When I lived in New York City, okay, as a, I did a lot of these events. <clears throat> I used to do these events called Defenders of, Defenders hmm. of Reproductive Justice, Defenders ah, of Peace. I see. And I had them Good. more in bars with music. It was more of a, mm. a nighttime music. Okay. okay. Uh, and it was great fun, but I decided I wanted to be a full-time artist, and so ah. I had to leave New York City. Because you can't, it's hard to be a full time artist yeah, in New York City. Yeah, it definitely inspired my life as an artist. Right, right. So when I left New York and found myself in Savannah, which is another story, I met Renee Turan. And when I was looking for work, he hired me and thus became my job to or help organize these outdoor events. And it's been amazing. So I always like to, and this was my goal when I left New York to be a full time artist. And using my skills and talents to make a living. Mm -hmm. And so now I have an art studio in Sulphur Studios, which is on Bull Street. Right. 2301 yeah. Bull Street. Right. Kind of Starland. In the Starland right? District, yep. yes. So that's where I do my planning for the Earth Day Festival. That's where I do my making my art, making my hanging mobiles. Excellent. So okay. I feel really um, good. I feel very fortunate and, and grateful to be able to, you know, really take the lead and help Savannah's Earth Day Festival. 
because that's what I love about it. I mean, there's many things I love about it. One of the things I really appreciate is giving all of these amazing organizations and businesses an opportunity to showcase mm. their their projects, their mm-hmm. businesses, their mm-hmm. ideas yeah. to the yeah. public and find each other for support. Because yeah. we know the only way we're really going to shift and change anything is through local collaboration. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, more yeah, local communities collaborating. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And Absolutely. Then. And that's, you know, yeah, it's all... It's all, and, and you know we're trying to we're trying to sort of collaborate and be in that same in in that same vein here at WRUU in that oh, we're we're are. trying to uh, uh, give voice to some uh, who might not otherwise necessarily have it and to appreciate the culture and the art of the community uh, and uh, all sorts of other commendable projects as well exactly and that's yeah I mean now we just need a community TV <laughs> there you go there you go I'm all for it. yeah. So, um, um, okay. Can and, I talk and, about the food? Have we talked about the food yet? Yeah. Well, no, talk about the food. So, this year, um, we have a new, a new restaurant that just opened on Bull yeah. and 32nd. I wasn't aware of this until I saw it online or something somewhere. Oh, my gosh. You're going to be so excited. Yeah. It's, I met Davida Harris um, a couple years ago when I tasted her her like vegan crab cake mm. sandwich it was mm. so good mm. and she opened up a vegan vegetarian restaurant on bull natural selections natural selection i've been right. waiting for her to open her restaurant so i could get her to be a vendor at our events and woo-hoo, she did ah, nice. so I'm really excited about that then we also have um the big cheese the grilled cheese food truck ah will be there okay and I'm, we're always nervous about getting a, like an ice truck, you know, a flavored ice truck because right. it could be rainy and cold. Right. But we have Kona, Ice of Savannah. They're going to bring their solar powered ice truck Good. to the festival. Well, that's that's perfect. Yeah, it is. That's perfect. Yeah. So the two trucks are going to be parked in the visitors center's parking lot over right. on Drayton Street. <coughs> right. So that's will okay. be closed off. Nobody can go into that parking lot during the festival. Mm, mm, but okay. we also have in that parking lot the two electric cars. Ah, you can right. go and check them out. Right. A tiny house. Oh, really? And again, okay. this is just some... Nick definitely introduced me some guy. He's bringing his, his tiny bringing house. Bringing his tiny house in. Yeah, so it's well, not good. some company trying to sell you a tiny house. Right. It's just it's a just, guy just, sharing his just, tiny just house. Just showing you what, it's, what it is. Yeah. And then the other kind of exciting thing I just found out about this last week, because they couldn't, they didn't know if it would be ready in time for Earth Day, but there was their goal, mm-hmm. the Earth Day Festival, I should say. The Children's Museum is building a mobile greenhouse. Oh, Cool. So that they can take to different schools and mm-hmm. places to teach mm-hmm. kids about greenhouses. That will be unveiled at the Earth Day Festival. Excellent. On April 15th, this Saturday. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and uh, there's also, I think there's a free bike valet thing going Savannah on. Savannah Bicycle Campaign. Yeah. Love Savannah Bicycle Campaign. Ride your bike. They will watch your bike for you. Okay. So good. You don't have to worry about it. Nope. They're Just wonderful. Right on in. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's and more it. fun. If I wasn't having to set up the festival, I would totally ride my bike. Yeah. Yeah. And also, <laughs> uh, <laughs> also a tree walk through, through the park with, uh, through the Savannah Tree Foundation, by the way. I'm going to have Savannah Tree Foundation here just before Arbor Day, which awesome. a lot of people don't even know about Arbor Day or they've forgotten about Arbor Day or whatever. But my goodness, we should have a day devoted essentially mostly to trees, which uh, are such a uh, important element of the landscape and particularly here in Savannah, Georgia, but really all over the world, of course. And uh, it's very much also, in, of course, an environmentally uh, conscious uh, kind of uh, uh, celebration and, and, uh, and holiday. So she, she'll be there, too. But that's going to be they're going to do apparently a tree walk through Forsyth Park. Right. And, and here's what you know what I most love about this. I love the directions because, you know, when you get when 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 you're you're. Uh, information tells you to meet at the xylophone between the playgrounds you know that's got to be good i don't even know whatever it is if if you're meeting 
at the xylophone between the playgrounds, you know that's got to be good. Yep. And uh, so that's gonna they're gonna have a they're gonna have a tree walk at 11 a.m. If my information is correct, and it please is. by all means correct, it is correct me if it's not. But the walk is scheduled to end at, uh, to end at 11:45 at the Candler Oak Tree, which of course is the big, magnificent, ancient uh, tree there in in the in the park. Um, okay, wow. Wow. Okay. What else? Now you've got a lot of, I guess, sponsors and people who who help you know make this thing possible. Who who are who are those people and organizations? Um, well, or organizations anyway. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Um, to tie in with the food, we also have some great beer, local beer oh. in town that are going to well, be. Listen, that that's you know, that's, if, you if know. I was on the fence and I wasn't, but if I was on the fence on going, that that one just settled it for me. I'm yes. going. I'm going. So it's it's great because all these beer, they've definitely you know support us in all of our events. The um, Coastal Empire Beer, sure, Service, yeah, and Moon River. So Good. Those three, and then our other sponsors, Georgia Power. Okay. They're great. We we've been we've been working with for years. Pratt Industries, the recycling. Right. right. Um, Buhan and Faliant. I don't know. They're what that the is. law firm that is actually building a bit their new offices, another offices right on the corner of the okay. park. Okay. And I'm really grateful for um, that sponsorship because I met one of the lawyers when our cars got towed downtown. Ah, <laughs> so okay. really grateful for a tow and <laughs> grateful that he saw the humor and I hope that they continue because there it was really wonderful and sweet. So oh, thank you very uh, much for that. Okay, but but say their name again. Oh, I, I'm Buhan Falijant. I, oh, man, that's beautiful. I know. I'm fortunately, I'm... <laughs> If I ruined your name, <laughs> please con- consider sponsoring next year. Well, it sounds beautiful the way yeah. you said it, so yeah. uh, you know. And then, like um, <clears throat> Sentient Bean, love sure. Sentient Bean, sure. are great. So do we. Some, yeah, brighter, bright, back brighter day, natural oh, food. Yes, love. Absolutely. I mean, they are uh, both of them. Thank you. Yes. The water utility management, ah. the workshop okay. presenters, um, Connect Savannah. Well, yeah, love our Connect Savannah. Savannah's. Alternative newspaper. Yes, yes. as alternative you can get in the south. <laughs> we have a Low Country Audio. He's going to be doing our sound this year, and he's also a sponsor. And then finally, celebrities. They'll be making the Celeb- t-shirts. Celebrities. 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 They are a environmentally okay. friendly t-shirt company. Good for them. And they'll Good. be making the t-shirts that the volunteers will be wearing, and excellent. Possibly me. So all of these sponsors. We really, it, it's so fab, fabulous, wonderful, grateful for all the support, you know, financially and in kind sponsorships that people do. Because this event, you know, needs to keep it growing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You, you know, something like this. Yeah, you've got to have, you got to have some sponsors. Yeah. Just like, you know, right. we, 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 we you, need some sponsors and underwriters, as it were, and yeah. stuff like that. And Sentient Being, of course, is, yeah. is one of ours as well. And I think you did mention, but the city's sustainability department. <clears throat> well, yeah. Made, uh, yeah, generous sponsor. They, I yeah. am grateful that the city sees the value in this and we get to continue growing this and really um, bringing the community together. Yeah, It's going to be a real diverse group of people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's going to be good, no doubt about it. I'm excited. Um, and let me just uh, uh, go off on a little bit of a tangent, and we can talk more about what's going on. But um, I guess with something like this, you, you, I mean, you have to start way ahead for like the next year's, <laughs> the next year's deal. Um, I mean, right? I start thinking about Earth Day Festival probably right after Christmas. Wow! In January, okay. because. We've done it every. This is my third year, yeah. so it's kind of the so, same thing. So yeah, you've got it. You've got and it kind of worked out. I also know half the people, half the vendors are going to come back. Right. So they may not That's register until two days before the event, <laughs> but I know they're coming back. So I start thinking about it. We start thinking about themes for the workshops, but right. really the way Savannah works, we don't really get started. You know, really deep at digging into it till after St. Patrick's Day. Really? Yeah, I put out. Oh, that's kind of surprising. So but I guess, as we, you say, you've got it. You've got the the formula, so right. to speak. 
I register out. for the park. I register all the park permits early. Uh-huh. Uh, we, you know, we work on the website. We work on some of the things, but not, you know, we sort of, and some people like to plan early. Yeah. But, but what I'm really, you know, but like I said, everybody keeps coming back. Even some of the workshop presenters, they present every year. We get some fresh right. faces every, but that's what I think is really great about this festival is that everybody knows how to do it. So we don't have to, it doesn't take up a lot of our time yeah, yeah. so that we can focus on other things as well. This is just nice. a day in the office because nice. we know how to do it. And I have got great volunteers to help the day of. It's a really, I like doing one of my, I like the law of least effort. <laughs> so do I. That's always been and one of my favorite. you do not have to be crazy my busy. And all <laughs> la la, you can, so, and that's what I'm trying to instill with, that's why I think the festival runs really well because there's no stress. You know? Yeah, no, and uh, you know, it is just, it's like a day to be, you know, I mean, just to be relaxed and appreciative yeah. and aware of, uh, aware of the beauty of the natural world and uh, you know you can learn some things too but you can do some some fun activities you can eat you can drink and and we mentioned eating and and i think you maybe mentioned this but if my information is correct again forsyth farmers park they'll the market i mean the farmers market farmers market yeah, yeah i'm sorry yeah they'll We're, be they'll be there at a regular spot exactly fresh fruits and, and veggies yes so that's another good a good thing there so you can uh they have lots of, yeah they're yeah the market's getting really i'm impressed i don't go all the time yeah because i want to sleep in sometimes saturday mornings but yeah, I every i go once a month or once every couple of months i'm like whoa another new vendor mm-hmm. whoa mm-hmm. so love the farmer's market good and i didn't we don't want to they they've got a system too so why should yeah, we yeah, mess sure. up their system? Well, yeah, we'll just right flop right next just, to you. Just, just you know, make they, it easy. They'll be there anyway, so uh, exactly. they yeah. can. They it can, can get be... a little hairy with parking. That's why it's really important to ride your bicycle because <laughs> Fan of Bicycle Campaign will have their bike valet. Yeah, but parking is good. You know, so just be mindful of that when you're coming down. You know, to park a couple blocks away and get a good walk in, mm, mm. which is what I did yeah. today. I parked the free parking that's what you ought to do anyway i mean exactly you know, walk walk <laughs> no walk and this, walk this is such a walkable city particular i mean if you're out in the suburbs that's kind of kind of another thing right. but i mean if you're anywhere remotely like downtown uh and out you know to forsyth park and and beyond i mean what a great city to walk around in it is i've actually i um i had a, a minivan for a couple years after i left the city new york city I didn't have a car, and then I got one. And then mm-hmm. last November, I got tired of it, and I decided to get a lot rid of it. So I don't have my own vehicle. And I, because I was also thinking, if I am working for the Earth Day Festival, I should do some walk my talk a little bit. Yeah. And I, I, I definitely have cars to borrow, friends' cars to borrow. But I, and I can bike and I can walk, but I'm really grateful that I let go of my vehicle. It's sometimes a little yeah. bit scary, but. I'm like I had a car to ride this morning, so I, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I I have not gotten rid of my car, but I'm living downtown right now, and and uh, God, I don't need it. I mean, I'm yeah. walking everywhere I go. I walk all over downtown. There's any yeah. almost anything that I need downtown. So if you're yeah. a downtown dweller, you really don't need a car. Right. But I now mean, that there's Lyft and Uber, yeah, you exactly. You really don't sure. even if you're down in you you know. Yeah. So if you can. You know, why not try? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very freeing not to have the car payment it, or the insurance. <laughs> or the, oh, my gosh, what if it breaks down? <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, because Lord knows <sighs> anything that breaks down is, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, <laughs> yes. no matter what you're driving, it seems to me. Yes. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. To be able to do uh, without is is very, very nice. So, What's what's your kind of like run up to? Because we're we're close now. I mean, are you? Are, is is this the the craziest time, or yes. is it? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, this so week I, I, is I knew it could go either one way or the other. Either yeah, you sort of already had it all ready and to go, or else it would be the craziest it's time. It's all it's ready to go, but there's just things that you can't do until right. two days before. So I'm making sure I have the printing everything, making sure I have all the signs. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not crazy, but I'm definitely busier yeah. than I've been, you know, in January. But it's, it's, it's great. Like I said, working with Renee, we have every, we've got a system. So we like to stay organized. Yeah. yeah definitely yeah. being organized. And I'm looking forward to Sunday just to like 
relax. Oh, I bet you yeah. are. <laughs> I know. And then the other part that's kind of fun about putting on a festival like this. So we are up there. We're at the park at 7 a.m. And we're we're running around between 7 and 11. And then, boom, the yeah. event starts. Yeah. It's happening. Yeah. So then we just sit back and just let it happen. So you uh, And so you can do that. Oh, yeah. I mean, so you don't really have – it's not, not like micromanaging as it's going on. <laughs> you just say, okay, we're here. Yeah. It's going. Yeah. Everybody enjoy. Yeah. If there's something okay. you need to let me know about, you just come find me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah. the workshops, I have people managing, you know, like watching all the workshops, making sure sound guy is going to take care of the stage. You know, the mm-hmm. vendors are doing their thing. So mm-hmm. unless there's something – it's everyone can do their job. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. Um, and uh, boy, I'm looking forward to the music too. Yes. You know, I oh, mean, yeah. That sounds like a heck it's of gonna a be beautiful. lineup. So we're going to set up, you know, we're not going to be on the band shell because that's the bigger sound system. So we're going to set up right in front oh. of the band shell. Oh, okay. We have but our you're own right there 12 at... by 12 stage. Okay. And, um, but yeah. you're right there at it. Right there at okay. it. Yeah. So we'll be facing north and, okay. um, and then the, tents will be in the middle and then the workshop tents will be the farthest away from the music because mm. that's always tricky to mm. talk about composting or bees when mm. zulu yes. prophets rocking yes. out yeah <laughs> absolutely yes this is true Gotta you get sound a little, like guitar space play <laughs> yeah you, you guys are missing the visuals i'm sorry to say it is radio but joanne has been has been animated uh during this uh this this uh talk here which is nice <laughs> she's yeah. strumming her guitar over there Try, i don't know if there's anything else um also one other thing that's really fascinating about this event is there's very little trash on the ground yeah well yeah i mean <laughs> yeah. people are aware of it yeah. and you know it's, you know because we have people you know we want to make sure that's one of the when you you know run out the park you have to make sure you clean up your area yeah, leave no sure. trace yeah. and the city of savannah Love Sanitation Department. Big shout out to them. They're going to come out with their recycling and trash bins yeah. that morning and put them out. And it's really amazing mm. how little trash there nice. is on the festival nice. grounds. Unlike St. Patty's Day. You said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good, too. All right. We are going to move into our final segment here. So, folks, we're going to go again to a brief musical interlude, but we will be right back. And I just want to go ahead and right now and, and remind you that uh, after this show, we will have another hour unhosted, but another hour of good Americana music after the end of Savannah Lexicon. And then we go at 10 o'clock to Democracy Now, Amy Goodman, uh, Democracy Now that we uh, that we have going too. So, some very good programming. Even after I'm gone, I know you'll miss me terribly, but uh, <laughs> I say with a smile on my face. Uh, but uh, it's going to be good programming after this. So, hang tight. We're not going to be going for long, and then we'll come back to to uh, kind of close things out. Okay, we're back here on Savannah Rising. And uh, in the final moments of the show, so I do want to say a few things uh, going on. I want to let you know that next Tuesday's show, uh, the guest will be Paulita Bennett Martin, Chief of Coastal Advocacy. And, and there, there are a few titles I've heard better than that one, by the way. Chief of Coastal Advocacy. I like that. She is with 100 Miles, the environmental group that uh, uh, is uh, uh, trying to protect the 100 miles of coast, that uh, coastline that Georgia has. And she'll be talking about the upcoming March for Science. And then uh, next Thursday, a week from today, we're going to have the president of the Deep South Orchid Society. 
and they are getting ready to have their spring orchid sale at the uh, Coastal Georgia Botanical Gardens. Uh, there may be there may be a second guest on that show. I'm not sure yet, so I can't I can't tell you for sure. But at any rate, that's going to be good, whether it is one guest or two. Um, want to just let you know about a couple of things going on in the fine city of Savannah, Georgia. I like to make sure that you guys know as much as you can about some of the great things that go on in the city. By the way, of course, today is Savannah City Council Meeting Day, so uh, you might want to check that out. Two o'clock every other Thursday, today being that day, Council Chambers, second floor of City Hall, and, uh, you know, get involved and make sure you know what's going on in this city as decisions are being made about all sorts of things that have a huge impact on you and I. Speaking of botanical gardens, as I did a moment ago, they're having their spring plant sale. Will be uh, tomorrow and Saturday, 1 to 4 p.m. Uh, and also... Uh, not well, nine to nine to one, if I'm have my information correctly, nine to one and one to four. So I, it sounds pretty much like uh, nine to four to me, but at any rate, that's uh, that's going to be going on. Uh, that's at uh, Cane Break Road down off of Ogeechee Road down southward. The proceeds benefit the maintenance and the garden expansion there at Botanical Garden. Uh, jo- uh, Coastal Georgia Botanical Gardens, which, for my money, is one of the sort of hidden, somewhat treasures of Savannah. Uh, not necessarily everybody knows about that, and certainly tourists and visitors probably don't know. And of course, the big thing is the Earth Day Festival that is coming up. And before that, though, let me just read again the general disclaimer to make you perfectly aware that the viewpoints expressed in the following program or the program you've just heard are not necessarily those of WRUU, uh, its license holder, or its staff. And so, uh, okay. All right, Joanne. So this Saturday, the time is... Starts at 11 a.m.? Uh-huh. And it goes until 4 p.m. Okay. You can find out all the information on the EarthDaySavannah.org yeah. website. And we okay. also have a Facebook page, all right. Earth Day Savannah. And if you are on Earth on Facebook, like our page and tell us that you're going to the event on the Facebook event page. Yes. And there's also on the Facebook, if you're a Facebook person more than a website, you know, <clears throat> there's um, listings of all the free workshops as well. As yeah, events. so you can check all that out on online. Yes, and, and um, uh, it's going to be great, family friendly, music, beer. There's going to be a labyrinth to walk on. Good stuff. Lots of cool things happening. Lots of good, cool stuff and happening. And a gorgeous day. And a gorgeous day. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. All right, I'll be there, and uh, I think uh, I think Dave Lake will be there, and some other people from WRUU. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So we got to let it go for now, folks. But I do appreciate you listening so much. Thank you for having me on. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on, Joanne. I appreciate it. And we will uh, continue programming after this. And then I'll be back next Tuesday for Savannah Rising at 7 o'clock in the morning. And then Savannah Lexicon at 8 o'clock. Y'all have a very good day. And by the way... A good Easter as it's coming up here. Bye-bye.